All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, um, as you can tell, uh, we have a little bit of a different topic, and so this isn't quite Apple related. This is more of a, a new app. So basically what we're working with here is on the left right here, we have the new Threads app, uh, Threads by Instagram. On the right, we have Twitter. So you know what, let's do a little comparison because these apps are very similar in a lot of ways. And so I figured what better to do than do a little comparison and see 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 what's going on here. All right, so I wanna start off with Threads because uh, again, so Threads was, so I wanna talk about like how simple it is. And granted, it might not stay this simple because this app, I mean, this app is um, brand new. I mean, it was released like three days ago, I believe. It was July 5th. So goodness, I'm recording this on July 8th. Um, but yeah, so it's a brand new app, so it's relatively new, pretty simple. But what I do love is just how simple it is. And so it's, I mean, it like the, the flow of it is a lot like Twitter. Um, you, you just have words and I mean, it's, it's a words app versus you have Instagram, which is more of a picture or video app. Well, so what I love about threads is how like simple it is and how easy it is to use. So, I mean, you're on the home page. Um, once you sort of open it up, you click on this little home icon and you're, you're really just on the on the home page here. Uh, you have your search bar, which is where you can see some recommended people to follow and you can search some account names. Over here, you just have where you would write out your thread. Uh, you again can just say, you know, say, like say I wanted to say hi, for example, you just do that, you post it, you're good to go. Um, over here, the little heart icon is where you're just getting all of your information. So you have followers, uh, replies, likes, things like that. So you have like, it, and it sorts them too. So you do have sorts here. You have replies, mentions, uh, verified, stuff like that. Um, and then over here, the final button is your profile. And so this is where, you, you know, so you can see your followers. And what's an interesting sort of um, approach here is you can only see followers. You can't see what you're following. And I guess, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't really affect me too much, but you, you just have your profile here. Um, what is interesting though, is your Threads account and your Instagram account are the exact same thing, uh, which means you log in with your Instagram account and you can't change anything on your Threads account. As of right now, you can't change anything unless you're doing it through your Instagram app or Instagram account. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a really simple app. Um, I love how simple it is, how easy it is to use. Like anyone that downloads, downloads it, will instantly know how to use it. All right, and my next point here for threads is how, like, it's so easy just to find good people. Um, you know, you have Twitter, which, I mean, Twitter's been around longer. There's a lot more going on with Twitter, but it just, the drama, man. Like, there's a lot more drama on Twitter. Now, threads, again, it's a new app, but, I mean, just browsing the feed, like, it's a much better, cleaner group of people, not near as much drama. Um, and, and part of that could be because there is not actually a trending page right now. And there's just, you know, there's less for you to be able to look up. Like you're really only looking up people and that's, that's pretty much it. All right, so here's Twitter. Um, most of you are probably familiar with it. I mean, it's, it's Twitter. Everybody knows what Twitter is. And you know, it, it's owned by Elon Musk. And that is a problem for some people. It's fine for others. It just depends on who you are. Now, one of the points I have with Twitter is there's a lot more information. So you see you have relatively the same things. So you have your home app here, you have your search bar, except when you click on the search bar, instead of there just being some a list of followers, there's, you have trending right here, you have news, you have sports, entertainment, like there's a lot. And then of course you can just search whatever the heck you want in the search bar. It's not limited to just people. Uh, you know, you see all of your trending things, there, there's a lot more to, to go through inside of search. Uh, here you have Twitter spaces. I have never really used this. I don't know how to use it, but it's basically just you listen to people talk or you can create your own space and you guys can just talk. Um, you have communities here. This is where you can join. So I'm just a part of some iOS beta testing communities here. And you can just see what people are having to say, you know, feedback, stuff like that. Your notifications, again, it's relatively similar. It's not, it's actually, I prefer the way it's filtered inside of threads. Um, because you just have more to go through here. You just have your all, uh, your verified and who's mentioned you. So pretty simple. And then you have DMs. Now DMs is just where like you've talked to people and stuff like that. You know, you guys know what DMs are. What's interesting though, is there actually is no DMs on, um, threads, just so you know. Now, the, another thing I want to talk about here is just the variety of people using Twitter. 
And if you like, I mean, Twitter is, it's, again, it's an older app. It's been around for a lot longer. There's a, there's a bigger community of people using it. And so that means that there is a, there's a bigger variety of people. You're, you're going to have people from all different categories. But the thing with the difference with threads is because it's just such a new app. It's really just, it's like just based on my experience and I've heard other people talk about it too. Just sort of going through the feed on um, threads, like the people are just, they're just better. There's less negativity. There's less just crap going on. Like it's just a better space. And you like, I mean, most of the time, but a lot of times you will leave Twitter, like you've been scrolling on it, you leave it and you're just like, I don't feel any better than when I started. You know, and with, I mean, with threads, like I have tons of these um, different people that are, they're just leaving good messages. And that's, I definitely prefer threads in that scenario. All right, so last question, what do I prefer? Do I prefer threads or do I prefer Twitter? Now, again, these use cases will be subject to the person. Some people might prefer one app over the other, some the opposite. Now, I actually prefer threads and as of right now, it's a, it's literally like, it's not been updated since it's been released. So it's a brand new app with, there's some bugs. There is some definitely bugs, but I do prefer threads just from how easy it is to use, how simple it is. There's a heck of a lot less drama. Now, if you're into like a bunch of news and drama and stuff like that, yeah, Twitter will definitely be your app uh, just because it will give you more of what you're looking for. Me on the other hand, I, I don't really care that much about news. I just prefer the simple good message of threads. And so yeah, I mean, that's really about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell as it helps me a lot. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So yeah, bye guys.